Navarrete versus Gonzalez, and what a, what a fight this was. Uh, I thought it was a great fight. And to me, it puts to rest the myth out there that you can't, you can't have a fight with wide scorecards be a great fight. I disagree. And I disagree because of the 10 point must system. It, it really doesn't show how competitive Gonzalez really was in this fight. The, the scorecards were 118, 110, 116, 112 twice for Navarrete. And I was somewhere in the middle of that. I, I, I thought that Navarrete clearly won the fight on the scorecards, on my scorecard. Being that he was edging out a lot of the fights because um, the more effective puncher was landing the uh, bigger shots, was landing the crisper shots. But Gonzalez kept pressing and pressing and pressing and made it a great fight. Made Navarrete work for everything. He had to work for everything in this fight. Gonzalez kept walking him down, was in his chest, fought and executed the game plan that gave him the best opportunity of winning this fight. Unfortunately for him, he was just up there against a, a better guy. Navarrete's just a, a, a step ahead of Gonzalez. Uh, he was the heavy betting favorite coming into the fight. And the reason being is, you know, if, you, if you've seen both of these guys fight leading up to this fight, Navarrete just has a um, more punching power, a little more technical, a little more crisp and shorter with his shots. Gonzalez can be wider with his shots. Um, and his his punches just had had more effect on on him, and he can take Navarrete can take shots, good chin, and Gonzalez just didn't have anything that could hurt Navarrete, like really hurt him. So Navarrete's taking those shots and then giving them back, but he's giving them back better. And they were the type of shots that, if you're a judge, you say those are the more effective punches. So a lot of these rounds were close. They were close. But each round, Navarrete was, in my opinion, Navarrete was putting them in the bank, um, being the more effective puncher. Um, every time Gonzalez would step it up, Navarrete would go into a higher gear, higher gear, higher gear. But Gonzalez did put Navarrete in fifth gear in this fight. He did make him go there. He did make him work for everything. And in my opinion, even in a loss, this is one of those type of fights when even in a loss, uh, Gonzalez's stock goes up. So I felt both fighters' stock went up. It was a great fight. It's everything that you hope for as a boxing fan. It's everything that um, I hope for in, as a boxing fan. I just feel like Navarrete, each round, he was one of them close. A few rounds he won wide, but he was too much for Gonzalez at the end of the day. Gonzalez was outgunned, but you can't question Gonzalez's heart. He had that big cut. And he just kept coming and coming and coming. And I thought he was going to wear down in the middle rounds. I thought this was going to be a tough fight, close fight for about four or five, six rounds. And then as the middle rounds went on, uh, the cream was going to rise to the crop and never that they was going to take over the fight. But Gonzalez kept coming, coming back from everything and ended up being a hell of a fight. So never that they, by decision, wide decision, but it was still a close fight, it was, and it was still a great fight, in my opinion. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Boxing's on fire right now. Peace.